What motivates you as a leading stem cell researcher, particularly in the area of paralysis? Gosh, you just have to go kiss the cheek of Brooke Ellison to know. Um, and why kiss her cheek? Well, um, she's got this beautiful smile and you know she can't move anything below. And you know the respirator's breathing for her. Um, and, you know, she's living in a prison. Stem cells is one of the most pro-life issues of our time. It's trying to help people that are suffering from disease. The world you'd love to see is people with Lou Gehrig's disease wouldn't have to go on respirators because we couldn't uh, delay the onset of their disease. People who have Alzheimer's disease would stop losing their minds and dying. Kids who have daily injections of insulin all of a sudden wouldn't need that. There's been purposeful disinformation, if not deceit. I question people who say that for some reason the destruction of an embryo that would otherwise be discarded is the destruction of a life. All rational people can agree that cells in a petri dish are not a person. The other side frequently shows pictures of little babies crawling out of test tubes. I don't think that's fair because the intention is to communicate an image, an idea that is completely different from the actual facts. Every religion that I'm aware of tells us that it's our obligation to help our fellow human beings. That's what stem cell biology is all about. There are people out there stuck in paralyzed bodies because there are people who are paralyzed by fear.